As we welcome in our co-host today, New York Times best-selling author John Gilstrap. John, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Mr. Harvey, unable to make it today. Too much work when you're a prosecuting attorney. Too much work means too much crime. Hang him high, Harvey. That's <laughs> <laughs> That would be the nickname, I guess. He doesn't strike me as that kind of... No, guy. no. He, seems he might be. You never know. It's always the quiet ones, right? Lots to get to today. And uh, that includes Senate President Craig Blair after the half-hour break here in this first hour with July revenue numbers. That'll be the first look at the new year and how uh, we are doing fiscally with those numbers. We welcome in our first guest of the day, Jason Keeling. He is Executive Director of the American Red Cross. He joins us via telephone. Jason, good morning. Thanks so much for being with us. Good morning, Rob and listeners. Great to have you with us. Where are you this morning, Jason? Uh, I'm in Morgantown, West Virginia, but our footprint does include your listening area. Absolutely. There is, as I understand it, a a blood shortage in our region. Could you tell us how extensive that is and how critical? So there's a continuous need for blood, but there are certain times of year, such as this, um, when people are still on holiday, where donations tend to dip. And so uh, my job today is to encourage uh, listeners to donate uh, maybe for the first time or uh, to come back. What types of blood specifically do you need? We need all types. Um, Type O is what's known as the universal type. Uh, It can be used in a little bit more of a diverse way. But every unit of blood that's donated has the potential to positively impact someone's life, right? I mean, every day in in this country, uh, we have people in need of, uh, we have cancer patients. We have people who have been in in traumatic accidents. We have people with um, chronic diseases such as sickle cell. Um, And without donations from the public, uh, those needs wouldn't be able to be met. Is there a specific August incentive that's going on for people to donate blood? Well, that is correct, Rob. We have an incentive right now. Um, Donors will receive a $20 Amazon gift card to use as they wish. Um, So that's, uh, you know, a little bit of something uh, to to give back to those donors. But also, you know, just realizing that um, many people donate uh, just as a civic service, basically, right? Um, Because donating blood is an act of volunteerism. And um, I know, you know, multiple people, including myself, you know, who who donate, you can donate up to six times a year. And um, again, it it helps uh, those in need. Um, However, let me add, though, it's unfortunate that only a very small percentage of the American public donate blood. So uh, anyone who steps up to do so is, um, you know, again, uh, uh, really uh, making a special effort. John Gilstrap. What causes blood shortages? I mean, I understand that there's a natural disaster or something like that. There's a, there's a big push on the blood supply, but is, is it just cyclical? Uh, well, yes, uh, part of it is that. As I was saying, you know, for example, now when we're in a time where people are still on vacation, schools aren't quite up and running yet because schools – are a major partner with blood drive efforts, um, you know, whether that's universities or high schools. Um, so when those, uh, when those uh, institutions are not operating, that's an example of something that can cause uh, a reduction. Uh, but again, it's just the fact that um, there aren't enough uh, donors in, in the country either. Even though we have ample amount of people, uh, we just need to get more donors. Who cannot give blood? Who, from whom will you not accept a blood donation? Well, there are a variety of circumstances based on someone's health history that uh, might preclude them. And, and that is usually uh, due to uh, you know, circumstances that would make it dangerous for the actual blood donor or for the recipient. And I'll just say that part of our process is to you know, screen potential donors to, again, make sure it's safe for them to donate um, uh, for their own health uh, and then also, of course, for those who would be receiving it. So, for example, maybe someone has low iron, low hemoglobin. um, That would be something that would preclude them from donating because donating would, uh, you know, put them uh, and it could uh, injure their health. So 
I used to be a regular blood donor, but I will be honest with you, it was so easy because the blood mobile, I worked at a, at a factory and the blood mobile would come by every so often, I want to say at least twice a year. And, you know, you get the time off for the half hour or whatever it would take to do and you get the cookies at the end and you just kind of go, you lie down, you give the blood and you, and you go off. Without that, it's kind of, it's not a difficult thing to do, but th there's an effort to do it. And frankly, it's, you got to walk into, if you're going to do it at the hospital, it feels like you're walking into a germ factory, right? You, you, <laughs> so, you know, you're kind of getting yourself exposed. How, what is the easiest and, and the least exposure to other people's germs to go and give blood? Well, so let me just say that one thing that is uh, uh, useful today is technology, right? And so uh, potential donors can go uh, and find out what blood drives are happening locally because we're, we're continuously having drives in, in different locations. But um, you can download the Red Cross blood donor app. You can go to redcross.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS, and all those means – you just simply enter in your zip code, and it will populate and show you what drives are happening closest to you, and also you can schedule according to your needs. So it's really just about finding, hey, what's the closest drive to me, and what is uh, an environment that I'm comfortable donating in. You, you mentioned hospitals. I mean, we do collect blood in hospitals on occasion, but really that's um, um, not a majority of our drives. Most of our drives are in community centers, schools, churches, uh, things of that nature. The uh, next drive I see on your website in our area is on uh, August the 13th at St. John's Lutheran Church on West Martin Street from noon to 530. If you can't make that one on August the 15th, New Life Community Church in Inwood from 10 a.m. until 3. And then on the 16th at the Independent Fire Company in Ranson from noon until 530. On the 21st of August at the Comfort Inn in Martinsburg between 10 a.m. and uh, 3 o'clock. A uh, final note from you, Jason, anything you can tell our audience uh, to encourage them to come out and donate blood? Again, just realizing that uh, donating blood is an act of volunteerism and civic service and that you uh, could be potentially uh, helping to save someone's life. Did you have a final comment, John Gilstrap? I have a final question, actually. You say that the um, type O is a universal donor. People have, there's some pretty rare blood types, the ABs and that sort of thing. Is there a particular desire to have those blood types donate? Is uh, Yes, because that, because, you know, there are patients who have those same blood types as well. And without, you know, having those, the, the donors of, of a similar type, uh, care for them is, is more more difficult. And the same is true for um, blood diseases. I mentioned sickle cell earlier. You know, it's, it's critical for, in that case, primarily African-American donors uh, to donate so that the, you know, um, those in that uh, class uh, that need care can um, receive um, blood from a similar blood type. Jason, thanks so much for your time this morning. And you might be happy to know that Rick Manning, who, uh, former military, has uh, posted on our Facebook page that he's donated 132 pints of O, type O, through the Red Cross and even more through the military. Easy way to save lives, he said. So that's your well, kind of guy. Thanks thanks to Mr. Manning. And, uh, again, appreciate the opportunity to, to get this message out. You gentlemen, have a good day. Thank you, Jason. You too.